Go ahead and stock up on all of your Skull Island merch at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description down below. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here, and I'm continuing those King Kong reviews with a review of the D for Real Skull Crawler. Now, as I made mention in my standalone King Kong review, Star Ace's name is on the box because they were the ones who brought it to market, but X Plus sculpted it and produced it. So who gets the most credit? I'll let you decide. Now what's cool about this Skull Crawler release is guess what? Aside from the Leonard Skull Crawler that was released when the movie came out, this is the first real high-end Skull Crawler figure that's available on the market. And it's in a very, very classic pose for the kaiju. So, um, it's 55 bucks, it's a Skull Crawler. What's not to love? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Sculpted really well in a sort of launching pose off the ground, the skull crawler here has magnificent paint application to match the sculpt. Overall, I do have to say that the skull crawler is really impressive for such a, well, relatively small figure. They really did put forth the effort to make sure that this looked really nice. And I do have to say, as someone who is not really a huge fan of figures that are fixed in position, statues or fixed figures, PVC and the like, I do have to say that they did a great, great, great job of one of my favorite new modern day kaiju designs. Now, mine has one, one, one issue with it. And what's that? There is a brush hair on the back that <laughs> got painted and got stuck. So, you know, classic NECA. Oh, NECA. Ooh, no. Uh, it's an unfortunate quality control issue that can happen from time to time. But that's something that I can pull off. But I just wanted to take a picture of it here. So this way you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now, overall, in terms of the skull crawler. The base vinyl here looks to be somewhat between of a mix of green and gray. And then from there, they just went crazy with the different paint applications. Whether or not it's going to be some greenish yellow dry brushing on the arms and on the hands, whether it's going to be more of a heavy gray on the actual well, head area of the skull crawler. The eye paint and decal application is fantastic. That crazy tongue of the skull crawler is awesome. The many teeth in the mouth, we have the coiled up tail or back end, whatever you want to call it. It overall just looks awesome. There is no part of this figure that does not say wow to anyone who is going to be looking at this. Why? Texture wise, it's great in the sculpt. Paint-wise, there's nothing out of place. Overall, the Skull Crawler really does kick some King Kong hiney, and we can see why this beastie was really feared on Skull Island. Now, with the Skull Crawler here, some of you eagle-eyed viewers may, uh, may already be seeing one sort of structural issue with the Skull Crawler. You have this humongous head and arms supported up by a very thin body coiled around at a base like a snake, kind of. So what they did was they included one generic, I don't mean that as in like bad, I just mean that as in they use this for three releases, King Kong Skull Island base with a hole in it and they included a metal rod with a piece of plastic to help support the skull crawler while it is suspended in the air. Though this isn't specifically a must have for this figure, do take note, this will warp over time and sag, and then you won't have a nice skull crawler anymore. So now we don't have that much else to cover in this review, so let's move on to the size comparison alongside his pal, the standalone King Kong release, so this way you can see about how big those two may be together, and comparatively speaking with some other figures you just might have. Now as you can clearly see here, it's a pretty nice size. He gets a good amount of distance off the ground, and of course, we're going to have to do a size comparison with the Kong vs. Skullcrawler set. Pretty cool. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. If you collect D for real figures and you love the MonsterVerse, then this should be something you already have ordered and you have sitting up on your shelf. Now, maybe you're not a fan of D for real figures and maybe you just really, really like those action figures. They gotta have some points of articulation. Well, guess what? 
you don't have many other options for a skull crawler. Take a look at the picture in front of you. Doesn't that sell you for a nice skull crawler figure? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it very well should. Because not only does this work well as a D for real, it works fantastic for just a general stand-in skull crawler until maybe we get a Monster Arts or a Mezco or something. Yeah, so if you don't really like the D for real aspect, you can still get it as a stand-in, so this way one of your Kong action figures can have another enemy to fight. Awesome. This D for real figure has a ton of utility, and it is an awesome collectible. I say you should buy it if you really want a nice variety of kaiju. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me. I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.